What's up, guys? We are back. If you have missed all of our conference breakdowns, we got ACC, AAC, SEC, Big Ten, Big East. We got everybody, and now we're getting to the coup de gras. The best conference of college basketball, without question, top to bottom. Yep. The Big 12. Um, and if you look at the longest odds on here, you got Oklahoma at about plus 4,200, and they beat Alabama by 40 points, and Alabama's going to be a one seed in the tournament. This conference is disgusting. You look at, you know, Texas Tech is a frisky team at the very bottom. Oklahoma State's a frisky team at the bottom. Huggy Bear is, is the fourth longest odds. But this conference is just so deep. And uh, you talk about it, there's probably eight or nine teams, and I know it's the Big 12, but there are 10 teams. Probably eight or nine, eight or nine of these teams can make the tournament. If you on the merits, just absolutely stack conference. Um, but we'll start with the top dogs. I believe that the Kansas Jayhawks are going to go back to back and win another national title. Don't I don't blame you at all for that. I mean, it's this is, and you could say too, if you told me that you think one of the, I don't know, choose one of the six teams in this conference, one of the six top seeds to win the conference. No one, can State. You, no one can tell you you're wrong or that's a bad pick. I mean, we've seen – I've seen people – I like Texas. People – I like Iowa State. I like Kansas State. Like, Kansas I don't State like, with the fifth longest odds is really appealing to me because I think Kansas yeah. State's going to be a two-seed in the NCAA attorney, and they are a frisky bunch. Yeah, they they um, they have a tough game, that, that first one, but it's overall another really fun conference. I'm really excited to watch the – the quarterfinals, because you think about like West Virginia and Texas Tech that play, you know, tonight, Wednesday night. I mean, the winner of that game can handle Tex, uh, can handle Kansas. We just saw Kansas in the regular season at home at Allen Fieldhouse and struggle with both of those teams in games that they really should have won convincingly. So it's wide open for for anybody to win. I think probably eight of these teams are already in the tournament. So you wonder if Texas Tech has kind of a slight a slight edge is playing harder. I don't really like the play harder um, concept of betting, but yeah, it, it is. It's absolutely wide open. Um, I really only have one pick for this. How many do you have? I, I don't have any because to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if it, like I said, Oklahoma has the longest odds and they beat Alabama 93 to 69 at, at Coleman Coliseum at Alabama. Like this is such a good conference. It's unbelievable. I think they all, Honestly, I know you can't do it this way. I think all of them should be in the tournament. I wouldn't be shocked if, you know, like I said, eight, nine bid league, which is insane when you have 10 teams, but it's really just that talented. We've seen, you know, we were watching yeah. this game together. Mm -hmm. We saw Kansas go down to Baylor big time at half and Kansas was shooting poorly. And we, we both live bet Kansas to come out and yes. just absolutely shoot the lights out and beat that Baylor. Was a, that was a gimme too. I mean, it, those shots that Kante George were hitting, it's like, these aren't going to go in the second half. Not at Allen Fieldhouse. No. Now. No, exactly. But, you know, any of these teams, if you woke me up in a week out of a coma and you said West Virginia won the Big 12, I'd say, oh, you know, Bob Huggins, Press Virginia. You know, <laughs> I, I'm not surprised. Like, there's just so many good teams. Yeah. I would well, say, uh, I, I like I said, I, I say I always say I hate to take favorites, but once again, I got to go with the one seed. I think Kansas is going to win the Big 12. I think they're going to win the NCAA title again. But – I wouldn't be surprised. It could be any of them. If you told me it was Kansas State, if you told me it was Iowa State, if you told me it was TCU, I'm not going to be that surprised. Yeah, it's it's also interesting to touch on. You talked about Oklahoma for a second. Like, what are they? Forty to one. They lost to uh, they lost to Texas in double overtime at Texas. You know why can't they upset Texas in the second round if they get past Oklahoma State? Feels like a feels like a a, a cool hedge spot there if you wanted. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't blame you for liking Kansas at all. I wrote Kansas down on my thing too. Um, you know, I ended up kind of putting down, as I was just going over it, more reasons not to bet them for me. So the close games recently have been a little a little shaky. I, I think if I remember the end of the schedule right, it was, you know, two close home wins to West Virginia and Texas Tech, and then they lose to Texas. No shame losing at Texas. That's, you know, that's a fine loss. Um, but – there's some depth concerns. I wonder how deep they go because, you know, being a deep team is one of the teams I look for come tournament time. Not that I'm not going to pick Kansas to win at all because of depth, but it is something I wonder about in the Big 12 tournament because you think about Bill Self a little bit like Tom Izzo in a sense of like Bill Self's almost fine to lose in the semifinals of the Big 12 tournament and, you know, say we had a good run 
and we'll rest up here for a few days and we'll be ready for the, the tournament. So I just wonder, Kansas, it's a tough draw in the next game too. You're getting Baylor or Iowa State, two teams that can beat anybody. So um, I wonder just if their head is all the way in it, if Bill Self's head is all the way in it. And it, it might not be, honestly. It might not be, and they still win, which is the hard part. So I can't fault you for Kansas. I'm not going to take Kansas, but it's – are they still the favorite? I'm not either just because they're just such a heavy favorite. Yeah, I they're mean, and, and I say now. heavy favorite. They're plus 240, and, and Texas is plus 327, and Baylor's plus 474. And TCU at plus 647, that sounds like a lot normally, but, I mean, for the fourth best team in the conference – yeah, I did. I did think about, um, you know, how how the best way to bet this tournament was. Like, do you almost want to take? I see Baylor somewhere around plus five hundred. Iowa State around plus nine hundred. You know, just bet both of them, and you're going to get what because they play each other. You're going to get one team in the semifinals against, uh, you know, against Kansas, and both of those teams gave Kansas, you know, all they could get, all they could handle this season. You. Could that be the best way? I didn't take that one either. I, I only ended up playing playing one team. Um, I'm interested who – was there anybody else you thought of? Before I got to who I who I picked, was there anybody else that you thought about? Kansas State's the only other one. I mean, you're talking about the fifth best odds in the conference for a team that can realistically be a two seed. And if they went out, they're going to have a good argument to be a one seed. I don't think they will be, but I got to go with Kansas State. I really like their style of basketball. They're a very, very pesky team. Um, and we've seen them. We've seen them in a lot of dog fights with all these Big Twelve teams. And I think if you can cut your teeth in the Big Twelve, if you can win the Big Twelve tournament, which I think they are more than capable of. Like I said, I think there's eight, nine teams that are capable of it. I, I think you can beat anybody. So I think Kansas State's definitely a team to watch. With yeah. the fifth best odds, it's it's hard to knock a team like you said that, or like I said that is probably going to be a two seed. The guys with the fifth longest odds is I, I understand whoever they got to play, they got to play. But that's that's great value to me. Yeah, it's interesting too because I see I'm just looking on DraftKings and TCU and Kansas State are both plus 700. I, I think checking earlier in the week, Kansas State had uh, they were they were maybe plus 550 or plus 600 or something. And TCU, I ended up betting TCU was was my pick at plus 750. Um, it was only because you look at the bracket like all those top six seeds are really even with each other. Like we've seen TCU compete, you know, they went to that game where I think we did, we live bet Kansas when they were at home against TCU when TCU came yes. out with a huge run. Right. And then they, and then they just kept it. They just, they just kept a 20 point cushion the whole game. So, you know, TCU can hang with anybody and they're out of those top six, the six seeds. So they're the, you know, the worst team, but, um, Plus 750 I liked because they're going to play Kansas State, a team that they blew out in the regular season. They also got blown out the second time by them. So it's kind of – it's an even matchup, I feel like. Um, Kansas State, you know, Marquise Noel has had a really good year, really shifty. Um, TCU does not allow teams to shoot threes or have success shooting threes. They only allow six three-point makes a game. Like you're only making six threes a game. That's – 18 points where that, that you know you're relying a lot more on making threes and TCU's going to shut it down. Your teams are only shooting 31% against them for three. So TCU is going to take that aspect away. And they can beat Kansas State just like Kansas State can beat TCU, but if you're going to give me plus 750 on TCU, I'll take that cuz then you play Texas in the semifinals, you can easily beat Texas. They played Texas close in both games. I think in both games TCU had a double digit lead on Texas. Um so yeah. They they're going to be fine in that spot. Um, I don't think it's a it's a game. Uh, it's a bet that I'll be looking to hedge that much. Um, you know, maybe if TCU reaches the conference championship, and I might hedge a little bit. I'm also very like, if you've you know, as we've talked here, like I'm a very pro hedge type of guy. Some people don't want to hedge. Some people want to take plus seven fifty and just write it out, which is fine. I I think I look at these conference tournament odds is where can i hedge because that's you know that's where you're going to make money but who's going to give me the farthest yeah, exactly. right right who's going to just get me the farthest no boston college and vanderbilt they're not going to win their conference championships but i can make money off of that ticket still got them um, exactly which are still going right so uh so yeah give me the horn frogs i think this might be their year you know mike miles damian ball lampkin they're all there they're all ready to go not to mention i think kansas state you know the best part about kansas state defensively is that they 
have a really good three point defense. Um, and TCU, they don't shoot a lot of threes. There are a lot of transition and get to the rim. So uh, they TCU, it's a, it's a coin flip type of game. I mean, but why would I not take the team with better odds there? So Horn Frogs, come on. Yeah, no, and um, we we were a big TCU proponents. If if you were a loyal loyal listener of this series, which you know probably not, but uh, we, uh, we but we we both. Yeah. We both had TCU to win the Big 12 before the season last year. They did not win the Big 12, but it was 1,400. We got a nice head spot. In, in, in football, football, to be fair. But, yes. Yeah, in football. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I meant. But um, like we're, 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 we're pro TCU. We're pro TCU. We are. We are, even no matter what the, uh, no matter what the shirts might tell you. But <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if any team on this list won the conference. If Oklahoma was the 10 seed and come back and won the whole thing, I would not – really just be too surprised i'd be like oh wow like that's it would kind of be like when georgia tech won the acc as a four seed a few years ago but it's this conference is just so good top to bottom i can't really say that any of them are out of it and that's why if you want to take all the longest odds i really don't think you're that crazy i still think kansas is the cream of the crop that any of these teams can beat any of these teams on any given day well now you've got me thinking because i i actually didn't even like i didn't even give oklahoma the time of day when i was looking at these teams to bet but now I'm kind of looking at it. I mean, 40 to one, they, they lose at Texas in overtime by two. How did they do against Oklahoma state? They, they lost at home by 10 to Oklahoma state. Um, and then they lost at Oklahoma. It was a state. good team. Um, like we said, we're, we're talking about a tournament team though. That's true. I, and I wonder too, cause I know there's, there's been questions with Oklahoma state about, about um, Anderson. They're, they're good. They're a really good player. I know he's been hurt. I don't know if he's back or not. I, I wonder. I, I'm gonna look that try to look that up because if, if he's out or or not 100, percent you know Oklahoma maybe can pick him off and 40 to one is is good odds. It's it's tasty. Gonna, for we're coming a, up with this on the fly. Speed. On the fly. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get anything. Um. Somebody says he's he's a game time decision. John Rothstein said. The man said, himself. Two days ago, that he's resumed limited basketball activities and will be reevaluated this week. So, I mean, it's not like he he's a, he's a, you know questionable at the very least. So, so if they maybe it looks like hmm. it looks like if they win, if they beat Oklahoma State, they'll play Texas, and if they beat Texas, they'll play Kansas State or TCU. I'm not sure. It doesn't. It's not very specific on this, but. Yeah, yeah, you're. you're playing, I think you can get a nice. You can get a nice head spot out of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I might have just might have just talked myself into like five bucks on Oklahoma. I mean, really, in this conference, in this conference, you're talking about the team with the longest odds beats a one seed by forty points at home. Like that is, it's unheard of, and that's why I love the Big Twelve this year. I think they're going to be. I'm going to be heavy on them in March. Um. Maybe not top to bottom, but uh, definitely the top teams. Even Baylor, who I'm not in love with, but I mean Kansas, Texas, um, Oklahoma State's going to be in an Iowa State, Kansas State. Uh, they're going to be. It's going to be fun to watch. I'm pretty sure Iowa State beat Bay- beat Baylor both times. I mean, they just went to to Waco and shut them down over the weekend. So just like the ATF, I I just don't I just don't know what like. I can't – I don't know. Oklahoma State's weird. I, I can't really get into them. I just – I find myself thinking they, they may be frauds, and even there's a world where they end up in the Elite Eight, and I'm still like, I don't know. So I, I just – I can't – I don't know. It's like they're good, but they don't look like they're supposed to be good, and I I kind of have a have trouble judging them on that. I don't know. Are they going to be Baylor – are they going to go 3-0 against Baylor this year? Really? That's tough. That's that. That's very tough to do. I mean, come on, Scott. You can't let that happen. Is Scott you on the hot seat? Yeah, no, he should definitely be fired. If they lose three in a row to Iowa State, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, he should be fired. Come to Athens. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna, I'm going TCU, and maybe I might have talked myself into like a tiny bit on Oklahoma just for the, just for the fun of it. I'm going Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Uh, and my backup team is going to be Kansas State. So we'll see. It's going to be a fun yeah. tournament. This is definitely going to be the most fun tournament. Any of I'm these excited. teams can be anybody. There is no there is no straggler here. Um, like I said, there, any of them can win it, and I wouldn't be shocked one bit. Big 12. But guys, yes, that, 
Yes, that is going to wrap up our conference tourney preview. We're going to have a huge March Madness preview. Uh, we're going to go through all the all the first round matchups. Uh, we're going to break them all down and everything. Don't miss that. But yes, if you miss the ACC, the AAC, SEC, Big Ten. You know, we got you covered. Big East as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back uh, whenever whenever we get selection Sunday and we get our seating set. We'll be ready to go, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. This is the best time of year. So best thanks time. for tuning in, guys. See ya.